everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm wearing hoops today and I feel like a pirate. I always feel like when I wear hoops, I look like a pirate. I don't know if that's for me. I don't know. Anyway, um, thank you for tuning into my channel. I just wanted to share with you a major gloss moment that's kind of happening. Um, I have three, four? One, two, three, four. Um, four glosses, uh, brands of gloss that I just wanted to show you and really give you my thoughts on, ow, I hit my knee, really give me, give you my thoughts on and I'll just swatch them. Um, they're not going to look crazy different because they are nudes and shimmers, but you'll just get, um, a chance to see them. So let's start with the top, the higher end, and we're just going to start with the Fenty. So Fenty has, um, three new large gloss bombs. It's this clear one and glass slipper. And then it's this pink one and sweet mouth. So it's like a light pink. They also made a full size of the hot cocoa one or hot chocolate one that came in the minis for holiday. So it's just, you know, of course the clear one is just a clear, I love the name glass slipper. It's super cute. Just a clear gloss. It has the same formula as all the other ones do. So it has the sweet smell. It's sticky but not sticky. It's uh, very dimensional. Um, this one right here. Well, all the ones are shimmer, really. So here are the Kylie um, swatches right here. Um, so they're all a little different. They all have shimmery. They all have dimension. Um, they're actually, besides the smell, I really do like the um, formula. It, I like the thick glosses. It's not too sticky, but I mean, it's a gloss. Um, so it feels moisturizing and hydrating when I like the like thick glosses that are on. It's just, I want to put one on top. Let's see. We're going to get Wish Come True. I just put it on top. So it's a little, it's thick without being thick because I would say that the Fenty feels a little thicker. This one doesn't feel as thick. You, you do not feel the glitter, which is amazing. Like super happy that you cannot feel the glitter. There's no grit, there's no texture, which is really, really nice. So those were the Kylie ones. Kylie and Fenty are both, I guess, like around 18 bucks. So they're having gloss moments. A big gloss moment that's happening is this one right here. ColourPop came out Lux glosses. Now these are different than their other glosses. These have, they have some nude shades. They have a light to dark. Uh, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So the three have, or four have shimmer and the other ones are just plain you know, glosses. So let me swatch this for you and then I'll tell you about them. These are actually a lot better than the other glasses because they're thick and moisturizing and they don't slide around your mouth and feel like really different and they're kind of like really pigmented. Let's see. So from here down, these are the ColourPop ones. So they have one for every like shade. If you want shimmer, if you don't want shimmer, if you need the darker oranges, if you need the more pinkies, rosy tones, that's got to be something for you. And I do like this formula better than I like their other um, gloss formula because I feel like the other one was thin and kind of just, I like this. And I like that they're short fat bottles, but you know, let's compare. So I don't know color bomb. Like these are a little fatter and a little bit softer pink and they have Lux written on them, but they're very, very similar in packaging to the Kylie Cosmetics ones. So you can buy these individual, I believe they're like maybe eight, maybe eight dollars, or you can buy the whole set where you can have all of them and try all of them. Um, I, I like gloss, so I have th th two more brands, like three more products. So these are e.l.f. Um, I saw them at the store and they were really pretty and they're called lip lacquers, but they look pretty much the same as the gloss. And I want to say this one, uh, Love Bites, I'm going to swatch that one next to the Kylie one because I feel like it looks really similar. So Love Bites, I want to say it's closer to this one. Yep. Dupe, 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 dupe. And this other one is called Mob Glitz. This one's a little lighter and it's right here. 
and these have e the faintest, the faintest little smell. Uh, you can't feel the glitter. They're cruelty free and vegan. I mean, they're elf. They're really inexpensive too. So look, let's look. These are the elf glosses, and this is pretty darn similar to the Kylie ones. Pretty darn. I think I just spread this one out a little more, but it is. Pretty close. So I would say Kylie Cosmetic Perfect Kiss, the dupe would be Love Bite by e.l.f. Then we have one more because people are coming out with glosses. It's Milani, which I think is getting a little high and mighty because some of their stuff is a little expensive and I'm just like, come on, you're a drugstore. So Milani came out with a bunch and this one is 210 So Fly and it's just a dark opaque um, gloss. This one has another just faint, faint, um, not really chemically smell, but less sweet, a little, little different, but like barely, barely. And this was really opaque. This one feels thick and sticky, but I like that. So that's just me. Um, so those are the glosses that are kind of having a moment right now. Uh, I just wanted to show that and get that on real quick so you could see and tell. Um, I would always say just wait for sales because they always come up, especially drugstore. They always have the coupons for Milani and Elf and Kylie runs things here and there. Um, and for me, the gloss difference is all smells. So honestly, I would go with the Milani and the Elf if you really have a problem with smells. From there, I'd go ColourPop because it's a pleasant smell and it's not overpowering or ugly or gross or any kind of way. Um, and it's a really nice formula. And then I would go more towards Fenty because I can tolerate their smell. Like it's sweet and I know what to expect and all of them have it. So I'm like, all right. And some people might love the smell. I just, it's okay. And then Kylie's really strong. Like I can totally just, I'm just breathing it in. So it just depends on you and your personal preference. And you might not even like any of the glitters. You might just like, you know, the dark stuff. And you might want a lip gloss that's more opaque. Or you might want one that's a little thinner with a sheer wash of color. It's really personal preference. My lips have, like, no color. So I'm totally up for mostly the colorful ones and the shimmers because I want to be extra and have that glitter. Um, the clearer ones, only if they're, they work as like a lip chopper, which I'm paranoid about using this one over something because you know it's going to dye the applicator and then it's going to be kind of funky. So there's that. But that's just what I say. I'll list the prices down below so you can just see them and I'll let you know how many more shades there are to all of them. And I hope this was helpful. Let me know if I'm not too specific or if I need to be more specific. Um, I can definitely tell you a little more. I guess clear would be better. We'll see. So that was that right there. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you later. Thanks.